Welcome to Organizations Win Championships, an Odyssey podcast about your inspiring, as always, Chicago Bulls. I am Dan Bernstein. That is Jason Bernstein, along with our producer, James Jackson. And this is episode number 69. Nice. 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 The Bulls, not so nice. The Bulls no. have just completed a three-game swing of not even meh just bad and even their win felt like a loss but the bulls are now 34 and 37 they got within a game of 500 but alas twas not to be they are still ninth in the east in the nba 19th of 30 in offensive rating 19th of 30 in defensive rating 21st of 30 in overall net rating i have a feeling after this three game stretch and looking at what they are right now and how injuries are just piling up against them that my prediction of them finishing over 500 is not looking great yeah i told you oh they're gonna win next through the they're gonna win their next three games out of four and no. the, they will beat the wizards i believe the wizards are ass and i think they will beat them yeah, they're more than kind of yeah ass. they're they're bad but it's not uh not looking great. oh they're gonna beat houston really no houston we'll, we'll, we'll get to houston because houston they're going to be a problem oh jesus <laughs> christ somebody <laughs> needs to get this guy under control it's your job you're sitting right here nice pants by the way you look totally ridiculous yeah right now. But- <laughs> i didn't even realize yeah no i'm fitted up right now <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm dripping. <laughs> you're deep. But I got and you I you can see the Bulls jersey. We'll get into that Look in a second. What you're wearing. I'm wearing a Jose Abreu jersey under this. <laughs> and I'm wearing Homer Simpson uh, Christmas pants Just and this incredible clown. jersey. You're wearing a, an Abreu jersey. How old is that? 21 22 something like that okay. whenever brooks boyer got that care pack oh yeah yeah yeah. yeah. he sent you that cool moncada jersey the yeah. yo-yo yeah it's awesome uh players weekend one it's great right? yeah it is it's real it's stitched on yeah. unlike the mlb jerseys now it's way better than mlb jerseys now <laughs> <laughs> leave me alone dude pants. I love where, these pants. where did you get marshals those? they're so comfy Oh my They're god. They're cheap. <laughs> ah, this okay. guy has holes in his underwear. I don't want to hear it. That's okay. Holes, it's good. It's ventilated that way. Good. It's like you don't even pull down your pants to take a dump. Jay, what the hell's wrong with you? What? You're making fun of me. I have to take a shot at you. I'm just making fun of you. <laughs> it's just funny. I'm sorry. You, you amuse me. Uh the bulls I hate this guy. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Jesus Christ. Oh. <laughs> the Bulls lost to the Blazers and they were up big. What were they up? 16? Yeah. At one They're point. Up a lot. They were up by a lot and they won by a little and it was close at the end because this three game stretch has proven one thing and one thing for sure that at this stage of the season, in they're the, not good enough. It's not just that. The current can, they are so unathletic and they're out of energy too and i think that's part of it when you look at guys like DeRozan and and kobe white and vooch well we know vooch just media alert vucevic is terrible oh my god but when you look at the team and especially guys like DeRozan and kobe white who have been playing a ton of minutes you're still laughing sorry at, i'm sorry I'm, i'll be when I'll you be look good. at DeRozan and kobe white when they're I th- aren't they topped what Ring finger. No, I was just pointing to the. Okay. Aren't they top what? Two in minutes in the league. Yeah, it shows and, this and, time and, of year. And Kobe, you can tell as good as Kobe White has been, he's slowing down a little bit. And DeRozan, he's still Demar Derozan, but it's it it's very obvious that it's just wearing on those two guys. And DeRozan played a great game against Portland, but in general, it's everybody is just a step slower. And it, it's it's tough to watch. It's really tough to watch. They're, they'll make the play in. They're easily into the ninth 
seed. In the they East. are, but this this game felt like this. a loss. It, it was a it was a miserable basketball game to watch that was just marred by all kinds of of, of fouling and just the pace of it was terrible. The three, but most team, they, 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 both teams are missing a ton of three point shots. So they limp to the end. They come out of there with a win that it, like I say, just felt really uninspiring. And guess what? What? I would assume again. Thank God for, I would yeah, assume yeah. for every single game in the past month. It, it's, it just feels like they rely on him so much to, make plays for everybody. Well, I don't know who told him who just sort of got in his ear about not stopping his dribble. Yeah, he's good. When and he, he's a decent handle too. When he comes out, he is, he is pressuring and testing a defense as long as they'll let him. And then he'll go to the rim. If he's, Why not? If he's got the ball in his right hand. He is, it, it appears his he's mar- been using his left more too. He goes to his left. It he, brings it back, but he, right, yeah, but he, but he, especially when he's on the left wing, he does that little jab crossover to his mm-hmm. left hand and he can get to the basket. And I think part of the reason why he's been able to do that is because of his three point shooting. It's been opening up opportunities for him to be successful in other ways. And it's, it's really good to see. I'm really happy that they have a backcourt, right? Even, I mean, I, I'm not counting Levine cause he, cause, and he's gone. Don't want to talk about Levine, but is Iowa two? What what is he? Is he a com- he's more of a combo guard if using old school terms? But he can play both the one and the two. And Kobe White, I guess, can play the one and the two. So it, they're both important. We thought initially when Iowa came in, they would be competing, but now they've been working together and have been two of the. Th- three bright spots for the team other than DeRozan. I mean, obviously Caruso is invaluable, but he's hurt every single game. I swear to God, he gets hurt every single game. And so it's, it's just tough to tell, or it's, it's tough to say that Caruso is one of the bright spots when he's hurt so often. His defense is great, but it's got to stay on the floor. I O DeSumo was brilliant in Houston, 13 of 18 from the field, five of six from three, made all four of his free throws, 35 points, just ridiculous. And they just didn't get a lot of help off the bench. Kobe White had 13, Andre Drummond chipped in nine in his 24 minutes. Dale and Terry was trying to fly around the floor and, and fill the I mean, box he, score. He, he can fly around the floor, but. He, Not, they need his athleticism, though. Right. They really do. And and that's why even the most recent game, we're going crazy and watching him with a, a basically an NBA-level dunk. But it was so celebrated because it seems so rare on the Bulls right. to see somebody take their guy's that's, shoulder past him and dunk it. They're missing Julian Phillips more than people realize right now. I realize it. And I, I know that there's a lot of stuff he needs to work on, mainly his strength. But... His, the way he's able to use his athleticism to just lift them in a multitude of ways. He's active, he's aware, he's energetic, and he's smart, especially for a 19 year or 19, 20, 20 year old second round pick. It's it. I, I like what I've seen out of Julian Phillips, but I want him back because I, I, I want to see what he can do with extended minutes, especially now that they're so desperate for that athleticism. I, I I think that if he comes back, I really don't know what's going on with him, but if he comes back, I, w- I want to see what he can do with legitimate minutes. And they picked up the best player of all time to maybe get some of that athletic prowess back. If they had any in the first place, we'll get to that in yes. a bit. <laughs> Some numbers, some numbers that kind of tell you what you need to know. And when Nikola Vucevic against Portland in 35 minutes, can you tell he got a haircut? By the way, we did this already. Twenty did, yeah, we did, didn't uh-huh. we? I think we did this. Yeah, 20, uh-huh. 22 points, nine rebounds, made two of his four threes, shot ten of seventeen, and finishes as a minus two. How many points did he give up? Like, well, that's that's how you end up in, he in, in, in the even, minus. His he has cement blocks on his feet. He, I'm just going to say, when Doug McDermott was a bull, 
Dan Bernstein said he should have an ac- an accessory wall okay. for in- defense. Initially, I I said the nunchucks. Doug, wait, Doug McDermott gets gets a set of nunchakus. I think or well, it expanded because he sucked so well, much. Well, this came from the show. What's the sewing show that I like? Project Runway. Project Runway. You remember the blue fly accessory wall? Oh, yeah, with the heels and the purses. I watched that show in third grade because it's a fantastic show. And took sewing lessons, remember? I did take sewing lessons, Because yes. you were inspired by that show. I we, am. We dropped, I you, we dropped you off, and we still use something you made. What? You, you had a Chicago Wolves t-shirt that you No, stitched. that was an... I didn't stitch that. That was an art class with Miss per- Perlmutter. Shout out Miss Perlmutter. She was... Oh, I love Miss uh, Perlmutter. The, Best, the absolute best. Big scorehead too, right? I believe no, so. Was that the no, that was Miss Pepin. She, yes, Miss Pepin. She passed away, I think. Oh, we lost a listener. Too bad. Oh, she did. A while ago. That yeah. sucks. She was awesome. Yeah, she was awesome. Miss Perlmutter was also Sky awesome. Skypoint Miss Pepin, big fan. And she and we we made bags out of old T-shirts in her class. We didn't stitch it. We just cut it in a bunch of places and tied it. It was almost like a lattice thing, and it was used for a long time to take out newspapers. newspapers. And then I realized, wait, why don't I just take the entire bin and dump it in the trash? Yeah, that ended up being easier. <laughs> a little bit. So where are we going? Oh, Project Runway. The Blue Fly accessory wall. Yes. So that spawned the idea of the Doug McDermott accessory wall. And what it means is when you're terrible on defense, when you're so bad that you get to visit before you take the floor, you get to go to the accessory wall and pick out a defensive accessory. And your choices are nunchakus or nunchucks, okay. as, as they're sort of appropriately, and you're not supposed to use that term anymore. So then why'd you use it, dumbass? Because it's, it's nun- nunchaku. Just say nunchucks. Because nun- nunchucks isn't accepted really anymore because it's sort of an Americanization of the the term can you get like a wee sports nunchuck do they call it a nunchuck yeah it's a nunchuck okay well maybe it's acceptable you get that a pool cue a tennis racket or a folding chair or a folding chair you get what and you can switch and depending on when the timeouts are you can go and and switch out your accessory i said but only one accessory at a time you can't have like a tennis racket in this hand i also i i said i i said that doug mcdermott was terrible however I wouldn't mind his three point output on this Bulls team. No, but Vooch is, and is Vooch getting to that every, bad. But the thing yeah. is that Vooch is seven feet tall, six eleven. Sorry, but, but he's he he's, he's a large feet. human, and he has cement blocks on his feet. He can't move. It's killing them. And it's, it's at the their lack they, of athleticism. They're paying him twenty million a year to suck eggs. It's so bad because, I mean, against the Rockets, Vucevic, 16 16 points, 14 rebounds, and six assists, and he was a minus six. Brutal. And the watching what the Rockets do, man, Jalen Green. Oh, he's a thing. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. And that is, once Alperin Sengun comes back, and now that they've got a real coach, and Tari Eason is there. Van Vliet is there. They, Jay Sean Tate. They got some dudes. They have dudes. Look out. You're saying next year? Well, they. I, I, I'd love to know what the what the win total is going to th- be. Do you think Jalen Green can be a superstar? Like somebody you build around? I, I would. Based on what I've seen so far, I would take nothing off the table for him. I, I have never sat down and talked to him. I know there have been some issues about his level of on-court discipline like how does he play within himself does he play at sure looking like it yeah yeah uh, it's he's scary he gets up so high when he dunks he has to get his own head out of the way not quite like anthony edwards but it's different not not his head out of the, he has he almost dunked the ball on his own head because he contorted himself in midair to get around somebody leaned toward the basket and almost threw it down on himself. And he had to move his head out of the way at the last minute. Yeah. But Anthony Edwards ended John mm. Collins. Yes. I, we, I, we, we need to say a prayer for that man. Well, whew. especially John Collins, the same guy. Remember the play at Atlanta yeah, where the ball hit him in the Io, stomach and Io just made a layup. Bad times for one John Collins. I mean, that was over a year ago. Yeah, I know, but it's what are you doing? Why do you know, keep I'm poking pit, at my head? I'm pissing you off. You're but why? Because you made fun of my awesome pants. That's why you're that's why you're poking me literally. Yes. Okay. I, 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 well, t- stop. I, t- I, I, I took that personally. 
<laughs> Quite naturally, I took that personally. Organization for championships? No, nah, I'm for championships. And I ate the pizza. So And I had diarrhea, not the flu. I don't think it was the flu. I mean, you were there because yeah, yeah, you're old as a dude. I was there. And he, you know, oh, I could, I got to fall into Scotty's arms because I ate the pizza. Okay, whatever. Uh, <laughs> Eat the pizza. <laughs> so, it's a me. I, so the Bulls what? then. I just said eat the pizza like an Italian. You just started doing Mario. Well, because it's a me. Is he making it's a me? Mario. Yahoo. You love me. The Celtics <laughs> came to town and beat up on the Bulls despite having no players on their team. They started a few guys. They started Derek White, Jason Tatum, Sam Hauser, Ooh. Al Horford, and Luke Cornett. Their next group off the bench was Peyton Pritchard, O'Shea Brissett, Xavier Tillman, Svi Mahalik, and Jaden Springer. And they clobbered the Bulls. Yeah. Absolutely clobbered them. Sam H- or Jack Golke wishes he was Sam How- Hauer. Hauser? Hauser. Jack Golke, the Oakland guy. He's a okay. dog. He's out I the- wish I was Jack Golke. He's out of the tournament yeah, already. But he's a dog. He's a good little college guy. He can shoot the he'll, hell out he'll of the ball. He'll be a terrific rec league player. He's not even a European pro. He's You said the same thing about you don't even think DJ Burns is a pro. I love him. I love him dearly, but I, I want a stuffed animal of DJ. Burns. I think he's a little too large and slow. He, I love DJ Burns. Great passer, though. Terrific passer. I guarantee you he's a great dancer. What kind of dancer? Like any kind of dancer. Just like in a club or something? He, or or like ballroom. He's His feet. Like, you, you ever see? He's got a little Cameron Crutwig in him. Oh, he's way better than Cameron Crutwig. And Cameron Crutwig actually played for Antwerp. He played for the Antwerp somethings in in Belgium. He's playing pro in Belgium. We'll I guess if, you're right. If Crut can play over there, maybe Big Fella can. But his feet, like he he like you ever see Heavy D dance? You know who Heavy D is? Girls like girls that love me because he's the <laughs> overweight lover. Heavy D, you know you know. Right, heavy... uh, no, that just sounds like Chef from South Park. Or no, that's Isaac Hayes. Heavy, heavy D was a very large Jamaican American rapper singer. And he terrific dancer. There's one. What's the video with Super Cat? Uh, oh my god! The one where he's wearing. He's, now that we found love, what are we gonna do? He's got a yellow raincoat on, and he's da- come on one, two. What are you gonna do? Show me what you got, or something like that. I don't know what it is, but he's dancing. It's he's a good dancer. That's who CJ Burns reminds me of. T the uh, DJ, not CJ. Well, I was talking about CJ. CJ. I don't know. DJ like Jerry Callow. DJ Burns. He's fun and he's fat and he's awesome. Hey, chill. What? He's a lot of eat. I mean, he, he eats he, on the court too. He's a big man. No, I'm saying he like he, he eats barbecue chicken alert shack. Oh, like he's he eats his opponents. He doesn't what? eat his opponents, just like he eats. He plays well. Yeah, he eats. Oh, he eats. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm just making sure I'm saying it right. What is this episode? I, I don't know. Nice. It, it, it must be because of the number. Very, very nice. Very nice. <laughs> episode 69. Very nice. Oy. When did the Bulls play to Monday? I don't know. I don't care. They suck. I know. Uh, I don't feel like watching. You have to because th- this is what we do for only, only if our guy plays. It's still better than. A lot of college ball. I'm sorry, I can't. They're do fun. It, man. They're fun. But I if you, I if I, I watch too much of it, I do want to stab my eyes out. I was basketballed out last night. We had to watch a little Ted Lasso instead. Yeah, because you haven't seen season three. No, I haven't. It's it's very it's funny. Though. It's mid. You love Zava. Yeah, but it's the, the season's mid. The season's mid. It gets. It does get better. There, I I do like some of the. So, like cheap laughs they're going for, which like kind of beard. Just in general, they're 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 doing more laugh lines instead of pathos. It's it, it's it's funny. What he's funny. There will be more pathos later. I don't need. It's fine. I know. I just I don't really care about any of the people. Ted's a little annoying now. I'm I've and and what's her name? I you can have. Hannah Waddingham. No, the one who's I can't oh, understand Keely? a word she's saying. Yeah, no yeah. thanks. Yeah, I don't I don't know what you're talking about. I don't like your character. Character's fine. And I don't like her friend. 
our friends. The friend is annoying, and I don't, I don't, I, I just, I don't know. It's fine. Shandy. Whatever. Shandy, that, that's the beer with lemonade in it, right? Mm. Isn't that a shandy? A fruit beer? I'm not legal. I've never had a drink. I know. You're not allowed because it's, it's, it's not legal. So that's where we are with the Bulls. At least they have Javante Green back. Yeah, I was waiting for it. Yup. Hold on. I practiced pre-show. Did I get it? Up a little bit. Up. Huh? Up more. You're behind the mic. Ow! You dumbass! There. He has a Javante Green yeah. jersey. He's wearing what a... What did I drop? I don't know. Oh, what did you phone. drop? He's wearing a Javante Green jersey over his Jose Abreu jersey. Save the season. He's back for a 10-day. Yeah, we should get him on the pod. He's probably not going to play. We should get him on the pod. Still still my my the favorite all-time NBA guy, uh, Adewale Anatende. That was the name we used to use all the time for just the random NBA dude who he's shows not, up late in the year. He's not the random... Huh. Yeah, not, yes, he, he is. He's a, he was, he's a he was on the team year last year. Yes. So and he's an energy guy. He's and awesome. Probably he not going to play. Dunks. But okay, do you remember why you started to love Javante? Because I wanted Patrick Williams to play like him. Because well, that's not what you said when you were younger. You said he tries to dunk everything all the time. Exactly. I want Patrick Williams. I I want. I think Julian Phillips could do more than that, and I think Patrick could too. But we saw quote unquote everything else that Patrick could do, but he just wouldn't try to dunk on everybody. I want him to catch the ball. I don't want any. I, his, he's a great mid range game. I don't care when he comes, if he's on the team next season, or even I wish him luck, even if he's not. I want to see him shoot a ton of threes. I don't think threes. anybody else is signing him. Somebody will take a chance on him. He won't get paid, paid, but you, it's hard to turn down a guy like that. I think he's staying. Knowing this regime and how much they value their own, their own. Their own my their own everything. Their own my ass. What? What? I I think. What did? If I were to bet, I would bet he stayed. Okay, but I'm that, the same guy who said the Bulls are get to 500. What was the discussion? How, <gasps> how much you love Javante? Yeah, and I want Patrick to try to dunk on everybody, but I love Javante Green. He's the greatest. How how can you not say he's the greatest? Because he isn't the greatest. He's, he's the greatest. He's fine. He's he's better than fine. He's my king. Okay. He's, I, he's he he and he LeBron. <laughs> And Tyrese Halliburton are my kings. Somebody, and maybe the, Kobe White. Someone at that table doesn't belong. Yeah, LeBron. <laughs> it's I. I'm not going to argue with you liking him. It's like people who's he's like, he's like, I like college basketball better than the NBA. Well, then you probably don't like basketball. They like the environment. I I get it, and I'm not going to yuck your yum. But I know that at the end of that first day, I needed an NBA game to clear my palate because you just, you watch so many missed shots. It feels, and... it, it, you know what that felt like? It felt like when you go to the bathroom and take a real clean dump Jason, out of the, Jay, out of the just, underwear that has a say, hole in it. Would you stop with that? No, Seriously. because you have no. you made fun of me. So I'm going to tell everybody on the internet that you have, I have holes in my underwear. I there like, I like underwear with holes in it. They're well ventilated and comfortable and I don't like throwing things out. So you even, don't, so you don't like Alec Baldwin's sweaty balls. Even the, I like the, the, well, I think these got thrown Deep out, down. but I had, I know what this is, the SNL NP, it's the it's the one i had one that's a waistband that just sort of has strips of fabric <laughs> hanging from it so it's more of like a hula skirt i was gonna say it's masquerading like a, it's like as octopus underpants. tentacles kind of yeah or like a car wash thing. or like a hockey like an old school hockey jock strap or something because they have like the because they have the clips with the strings and you put your uh, socks on it uh, oh you mean the garter yeah is that a jock strap it's called you call a garter oh it holds your your, your hockey stockings hey. up socks well, they don't. They used to call them stockings, no, and they don't wear the garters socks. anymore because you guys have the a belt. Of, the a lot of people. I I think most NHLers still wear them. A lot. A lot of people. Really? It. Oh yeah. All right. Well, it's time for the showdown. And there's the music that tells us the showdown is coming. E, 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 e. Give me, that's my after. Do not lose that. You lose that. You're in. You're in deep doo doo. Uh, so what did you do for yours? Oh, I'm going first? Fine, I'll go first. This is how well do you know Javante Green? Oh, Jesus. Mr. I love Javante Green. All right, Green. let's go. All right. Okay. Javante Green went to Radford. Correct. What is the Radford 
mascot. Oh my god, that's not even knowing Javante Green. I've the Crusaders. I have no idea. Not a bad guess, actually. Okay. It's the Highlanders. All right. Okay. Okay. What the, the, the sl- punch in the ball yep. for that one? Okay. All right. I have, I have three more questions. Name the only other Radford player to, be in the NBA. to play in the NBA. Current. I don't know where he is. I think he might be overseas now. Guard. Yes. Uh, did he play this decade? Yes. Because you didn't, it wouldn't say on like a roster, it wouldn't say Radford. But he played, I think, four years at Radford, three, and then a fifth year somewhere else that they get that they give credit. It's sort of like the Power Five school. Yes. ACC. What conference are they in now? Louisville. Think, yeah. Because because you had no idea, so yes, yeah. Louisville is. I'm so good. Here's Louisville. Uh, who's the player who was previously at Radford? Oof. God. Oh, you're gonna kill. You're, you're you're gonna you're gonna be really unhappy. Definitely wasn't Terry Rozier. No and guard. Yeah. Point guard. Yeah. Kinda, but but scoring guy. Did he play for the Bulls? Yes. A Louisville guard. Yep. Black guy. Yes. Did he play on the team in t- in the 2020s? Yeah. Recent. Yeah. Last year? I think so. Louisville last yes. year? Yes. Yep. I mean, I know he played at least one game. He got in at the very end. Come on. Come on. Louisville and yep. Bradford? Yep. And like Javante, he's going to the front of the rim. He's just trying to dunk. No, he's going to try to get in there, lay it in, contort it, or or he's going to shoot a weird corkery short. Yeah. Oh, Carleek. Carleek went to Rab. Yes, Carleek Jones is the answer. Wow. Yep. Okay. Javante. I had no on. idea. Javante Green played multiple sports in high school. Oh, Jesus. He was an outstanding football player. I think I knew that. A yeah. very athletic quarterback. What school offered him a football scholarship? FBS? No. FCS. Although I think this year they were FBS. James Madison. Yes. They are getting absolutely <laughs> destroyed at, right now. At the moment, are losing. <laughs> and lastly, so now we have basketball and football. Javante Green lettered in two other high school sports. What other two? Lettered? L- letter. It's an old term Captain? that means, no, to letter was to play enough on varsity and reach minimums. You you more than lettered, but they don't do that anymore. It was enough to get your big letter on your letter jacket or your letter sweater. Oh, okay. It wasn't baseball. It was ba- base- baseball. Baseball was one. What was the other? Soccer? Nope. Volleyball? No. He would have been a great volleyball player. Mm-hmm. Does it involve a ball? No. Track? Yeah. Like long jump or something? High it jump? just said track and field. Okay. I imagine it could be any number of... I would love to see him play hockey. Categories of track and field. He's not playing hockey. So that that's it. Very good. Well done. My Thank turn. You. All right. So other than Javante Green... Yes. Since Wait, 20- was that, what was that beep? Was that mom coming home? Yeah. Okay. Other than Javante Green, in the past, since 2018, the Bulls have had three players with the last name that is a color. Ooh. Can you name them? There's and uh, two are colors. Okay, Kobe White. One is a shade, correct? Kobe White. One is a shade of a color. And once you get there, you can ask yes or no questions about what color and who the player is. Kobe White. <sighs> so this is in the last three years? Since 2018. Kobe so five White. Or six. They had, uh, there's one more. E- it's like easy, medium, hard. You got the easy one. Okay. Are these colors of like crayon names? Like, is there somebody named like Sienna or like something like Umber that? Yeah. One, one of the medium one is a regular, or like regular ass color. or ecru or well, the, the medium one is a regular ass color, regular ass, ass color. color. Um, I mean, do they have oh, I accidentally gave you a hint. Oh, Troy Brown. There you go. <laughs> Troy Brown Jr. 
Okay, and so, the hard one could be, I'm, I don't know for sure, but it, it is like a shade, a Crayola. Okay, okay. All right. Is it a shade of green? No. Is it a shade of blue? No. Is it a shade of red? No. Is it a shade of yellow? Yes. Okay. Is it gold, something with gold in it? Like the name itself? Yeah. No. Okay. Is it like golden or, or like a... Uh, no. Okay maze or it is a shade of yellow is it on the darker side no on the lighter side yeah okay uh yeah okay is it is it also is it a food yes oh wow it some, is a food uh, okay it's big so, so often colors are named after food correct is it a it is is it a flower that's eaten is it a plant yes it is a plant but not a flower it is not a flower they had no one named Lemon, right? Did they have someone named Lemon? Lemons. Lemon. Mm -hmm. On the Bulls? Mm -hmm. Bradley University. Lemon? Took his game after Derrick Rose. From Chicago. Exploded a couple of times. And then nowhere to... He's probably playing in Europe somewhere. Great on the G League team. His name is Lemon? Come on, man. You're a fake Bulls fan. Hint, he wore the same jersey number as I did when I played high school baseball. 25. Correct. Which Dalen's wearing. Uh, Dalen Terry, right? Yes, I'm, at the time. He played in 2019, I believe. The Bulls? Lemon? Yeah. Come on. Man. Is his first name Lemon? No. It's not Meadowlark Lemon. No. He's a lefty. A lefty? Hmm? Named... His, first, his last name is Lemon. Correct. Walt Lemon Jr. Nothing. What? Nothing. You don't remember Walt Lemon? No. Come on, man. You're a fake fan. Let me show you a picture of him. <laughs> like, that's going to help. He can seriously walk in here and say, hi, Walt Lemon Jr. Nothing. Nothing? You don't remember him I, at all. Zero memory of Walt Lemon. You don't remember him. No. You made him up. Oh, yeah, I, I just, I photoshopped every single one of these pictures. Nothing. Where did he go to high school? He went to college at Bradley, is what I said. Oh, I think, okay. Nothing. Walt, like, no. I, Where I, did he go to high school? He's from here. Did he go to Simeon? I, I don't think he went to Simeon. All right, well, I, I, I guess I did okay. I click all, and then you can see where he went. Percy Julian High Julian. School. Julian. That's where Lance Williams went. That's right off the uh, Ryan. You drive mm -hmm. by it. You drove by it yesterday. All right. Well, that's that. that this was... guy sucks. You suck. You suck, you suck more. Suck first. You suck egg. I like egg. Egg. <laughs> yes. Eggs. Vucevic uh, also sucks eggs. All right. Uh, happy he episode. He does more. Sixty nine. I hope it was very nice. Javante Green's back.